you don't know what people do with their photos and you don't know who's editing their pictures and what's real and what's not. Good morning friends and good official morning to all my beautiful and sweet little nuggets. We are back and vlogging today, which I'm so freaking excited about. And I know I suck lately at vlogging, but I swear guys, I love vlogging. Like the best out of all social media platforms. It just takes my brain a lot to stare at this big head on the screen all day. So today we're gonna do it and we're gonna be fine with it. And we're just gonna have a good day, okay? So yeah, um, I kind of just got ready-ish. And I mean, I feel like you guys know the routine by now. We're gonna go say hi to the kids and then we're gonna make some breakfast. Oh my God, guys. Okay, so this morning I took the laundry out of the dryer and I put it on the floor. And guys, I haven't folded it yet, but look. Um, excuse me, what are you doing on the towels? Oh my god, he's chickening. Look at you. Hi, baby. Oh, he's so freaking cute. What the hell? And I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna go wake Mim up. She's in the other room, sleeping under the covers, and I know I really wanna wake her up and say hi, but we're not gonna do it, okay? I know you guys roast me on that all the time. I'm like, I don't wanna wake the cats up. And then I go and I say hi and I wake them up. So we're not doing that, but um, okay, I'm really hungry and I'm gonna show you what I've been making recently for breakfast. I feel like my food always changes. Like I go on these little kicks of like always eating oatmeal, always eating this and that and that. Well, we're on a new kick, so I'll show you. Oh my God, guys. Oh, uh, buddy, no, what the hell? Yeah, Mim usually gets so much attention that you guys don't get to see this side of Bean, but he's actually the sweetest little boy and he actually loves attention. He just is very shy and reserved and doesn't really beg for attention because Mimi's always getting all the attention. He's so cute, look at the little boy. All right, so that is what I'm having for breakfast. Look how good this looks. I've been obsessed with doing this lately for breakfast and also I love these. Just snack on these. Mmm, so good. So I'm just gonna finish eating this and then I have some work stuff to do for like a few hours and then we're going out, okay? I have some running around to do. All right, so I just finished doing some work and I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys because I spend a lot of time online and for me, it's something that I obviously really struggle with. I talked about it in, maybe it was like not my last video, but my last video, how I just compare myself to everyone and I'm so hard on myself and social media is just a really huge challenge for me mentally because it's not always good for my mental health to be on there. I started following this account called, I think it's called, I think it's called Beauty False. Someone showed it to me and I was just like, what the hell? Basically the account just like shows you pictures that people post on Instagram versus like real life pictures. And the difference is unreal. And like, don't get me wrong. These people are beautiful in both pictures. I just think it's so sad that so many of these people feel the need to edit their pictures. But it's also just sad because so many people are probably looking at this, you know, girl's Instagram account thinking, wow, I wish I could look like that. When in reality, that girl doesn't even look like that. And I don't know, it just, it was a huge eye opener uh, for me at least to stop comparing myself to other people online because you don't know what people do with their photos and you don't know who's editing their pictures and what's real and what's not. But I thought this was a good time to kind of also be open because part of that account, it shows you like plastic surgery that people have gotten done. If you wanna, you know, get your boobies all big and stuff, go do it. You wanna change your nose, whatever it is, do it. But I think it's also important to be open about it because if someone's comparing themselves to you, you should, you know, be honest and say, hey, well, this wasn't done naturally. You know, I didn't get born out of the friggin' uterus with these big old titties, which obviously I was not either. But um, I also feel like people are gonna think that I'm gonna talk about if my butt's fake or not. My butt is real, okay, guys? My freaking mother made it inside of her womb and that's not what I'm talking about here. I know people ask me all the time, is your butt real? Go look on my Instagram. I always say this. I'm like, please go look on my Instagram if you think my butt is fake because I've literally posted my whole entire journey. But no, that's not what I'm talking about. But what I am talking about is the fact that I went 
I don't know, maybe it was like a few months ago, for a nose job consultation to change my damn nose. Okay, mind you, disclaimer, I did not change my nose. This is my natural nose, obviously. But I did. I went um, and saw a doctor about you know, getting a nose job. I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't talked about it. I haven't opened up about it. And I thought that I really wanted to do it. And then, you know, lately, well, I guess after my little social media break that I took, it really dawned on me that I was doing it for the wrong reasons. And like I said, I'm all for plastic surgery if you're doing it for yourself. But I don't think I was doing it for myself. I think I was doing it because I really desperately wanted to fit this image of what I think is pretty in my mind, which to be honest with you, is literally just social media and what I see online. And every girl that I view as pretty online, you know, or that I that I compare myself to, I mean, I think every freaking girl is pretty, <laughs> bisexual problems, but you know, the girls that I see online that I'm like, oh, almost make me feel bad about myself, they always have this cute little small button nose. And I so desperately wanted that because I thought that it would make me feel better about myself. And I realize now, after taking my social media break, also just like looking at that Instagram account and realizing that, you know, sometimes people literally will Photoshop their noses. Like that is insane to me, but people will. Like you, you just, you can't do something based on other people. Does that make sense? And it's something that I really need to work on. I mean, I have the quote right there. Can you see that? No, it's cut off. But it says, just because you don't look like somebody you think is attractive doesn't mean you aren't attractive. Christmas lights are beautiful and so are, what does it say? Flowers are pretty, but so are Christmas lights. I clearly didn't, you know, prepare this. Um, and they look nothing alike. And to me, like these girls that I'm comparing myself to on Instagram, they may be flowers, but like maybe I'm a Christmas light and like we're both pretty in our own ways. It doesn't mean that I'm not pretty just because I don't look like that type of pretty. Like, does that make sense? I'm trying so hard to get that like engraved in my head because I just have this really bad habit of looking at girls who are so gorgeous and I love them so much and they're so beautiful, but that doesn't take away from other girls beauty like my own even if I don't necessarily see my own beauty every day or I wish you know my nose was smaller it looked different or my face was different doesn't mean that I need to go and change my looks to look like them to be pretty and I guess that's just why I wanted to tell you guys this because you know I have no issue by saying hey yeah I really wanted a nose job and I was going to get a nose job but then I realized that the only reason I was doing it is because I wanted to look like that type of pretty. And I just think that's unfair to myself too because there's nothing wrong with how I look like even if my brain doesn't understand that. And even, you know, even if we have things we don't like about ourselves, I'm sure all of you guys have something about yourself and it just bugs you. Even if people don't see it, they're like, no, you're gorgeous, I don't see it. It just bugs you. And yes, we wanna fix that sometimes, but I really don't want you guys to, you know, fix something just because of a social media trend just because small noses are in just because you think that it's gonna make you you know all your problems disappear it's kind of like the losing weight thing where you think that losing weight you'll feel so good and your life will be so much different and you'll be so happy and then you lose the weight and you're like meh don't really feel that great and then you lose more weight and you're like hmm why don't I still feel great and it's because that doesn't magically solve your problems if they're like deep rooted inside you and there's something else, you know, causing it. I don't think that like getting a nose job is the right thing to do in my specific case. I need to learn to just be okay with this friggin' face of mine. Um, and you know, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not, but I don't need to look like other people to be beautiful. So that's my story of the day. Um, and I think we're gonna go out soon. I need to get changed though. Also look at these sweatpants, tie dye sweatpants. I'm super into tie dye right now and I have no idea why. Before I go get ready, I'm about to have a little snacky poo. And I wanna show you guys these. I feel like I may have showed you guys these before, these little snickerdoodle cookies. They're so good. Highly recommend. I don't know, are these only in Canada? All right, so before I go out, I just need to do like a PSA. I was actually so excited to tell you guys about these. I was like, oh, wait until I tell the vlog about these. Because honestly, why is no one talking about these? Why have I never heard about these? All right, so this is my outfit. These 
are my friggin' new, amazing, soft as friggin' butter leggings. The other day, I went into Airy and I saw these leggings and I was like, oh my God, the pattern is so cute. I wish these were Lulu's. But then I felt them and I was like, I went and I tried them on. God, they were so nice. Like this is not sponsored, but like if you want to tell Airy to sponsor me, like I won't say no. I think these were 40% off. They came out to be like $30 for these leggings. And I also picked up this pair, which is like, they're very summery looking. So yeah, um, if you catch me at the mall today, because I do have to go to the mall to exchange a sweater. Um, yeah, mind your business if you see me and Airy buying more leggings, okay. It's fine. I'm fine. It's not a problem. It's not an issue, okay? I just love them. <laughs> I am at Aerie, but like, look, I found the ones that I have in this color. I couldn't say no, oh my god. And also, I'm trying on a camo color. I don't know. Do you like these? I don't know. Oh my god. Anyone else sweat so badly under their mask? Like, my lip is sweating so badly right now, but um, I got my two sweaters returned, which was the main purpose. And yes, I went with a camo print pants. I don't usually do camo. I don't own anything camo, but I just felt like I already had one of the printed ones. And oh, I also got this sweater in a gray color, which I think is super cute, like the charcoal color. Uh, remind me to show you the body butter that I bought at Sephora. I didn't buy it this time, but I just thought of it. Um, I bought it last time I was at Sephora and I need to show you guys because it smells so freaking good all right guys so we are home now and i'm so disheveled it was raining really badly outside but this is the cream that i wanted to show you guys that i bought from sephora the other day and i randomly went in there and smelled this and it smelled so good it's a little strong like i don't use it as a moisturizer i literally take it and i just dab my finger in it and i put little little dab here rubber together all right, so making myself some lunch. I got my tempeh cooking right down here. I'm sure you guys can guess what I'm having. And then over here, I have my little fries cooking. Look at these. Oh my God, these look so good. Actually, I posted these on my story, I think maybe like last week and everyone was like, oh my God, drop the recipe. But in reality, they're literally just these McCain wedges. And I feel like the trick is though that I cook them in the air fryer, not the oven. All right, so that is my lunch today. I did make a lot of fries, but they're so good. And I just panini pressed the BLT. Looks delicious, and that's what I'm gonna have. One hour later. Guys, so Connor is now here. You got his haircut? I did. Looks good. Looks amazing, I know. <laughs> so handsome. We just stepped out because I forgot some ingredients at the grocery store today, and Connor, actually, you should tell him. Tell them what you do now for me. The first time in 10 years. I make Jen some delicious dinner. Yes. The past three nights I've had the exact same thing. Well, because she had a meltdown because she couldn't get something when we were out. Uh, I think it was like a few nights ago. Yeah. I went down to get my pizza and the place closed early and I literally was having a mental <laughs> breakdown because I wanted the pizza so badly. There was no bueno. And then Connor came clutch and literally made me a homemade pizza from home and it was so good and now he's gonna make me some pizza tonight. I'm basically opening up a restaurant. <laughs> so we're just going to the grocery store. It's actually so shitty out right now. It's raining. All it does is rain here. Literally, it's all it does. We went, from, we went from a super, super hot yeah. to now just raining and cold for the last week. Yeah, it just really sucks because you can't do anything, but we'll see. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. Probably just stay in and watch TV, but we for can now. watch the new Milan. Milan. Okay, guys. Guys, you gotta roast Jen for this. She literally hasn't seen any Disney movies <laughs> other than 101 Dalmatians. You guys know, actually no, if you're OG here, you guys know that my favorite thing are Dalmatians. Like I just have this weird obsession with them. Even though I'm a cat person, like I don't actually like dogs. Sorry, don't roast me for that. Roast her for that too. Don't, dog or dogs. Dogs. <laughs> Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Can I pet that dog? No, he's Can I pet that dog? I like dogs, but I just, I'm a cat person at heart. Like dogs are cool and stuff, but I like cats. But again, I just had this obsession with Dalmatians. So that's all I've ever seen. It's yeah, well, there's like a crap ton of movies on Disney Plus that we could be you watching. You can swear on my channel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> there's a fuck ton of Yeah, maybe we'll just have like a Disney movie marathon because I've never seen like Frozen or what's the other oh, one? Moana, Moana or something? Really good. Well, what, well that was what, newer, but still Moana is really good. Yeah, I've never seen any of those. So Okay, guys, every time that I don't feel like wearing my purse, Connor will wear it and just like look at this. 
actually looks cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Look at that. It actually does. It matches your outfit. We got to get more of the fries while we're here. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> oh. So icy. Okay, Connor and I each got cookies. This is Connor's. Those look so good. Pumpkin spice cookie dough. And then these are like the original faves though. Yeah. These little pumpkin cookies are so delicious. They're so festive. Yeah, we're gonna make these tonight maybe. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, it's dessert. Okay. All right guys, so we are home now. Say we're home. We're home. We're home. And look what I picked up at the grocery store. I've never tried this in my entire life. This is Dea cream cheese. So we are cooking up the best bagel in the entire world, which is what? Connor, what kind of bagel is the best bagel in the world? Cinnamon raisin bagel. Cinnamon raisin bagel. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put this cream cheese on it. I'm gonna try it for you guys as a snack. I hope it's good. Okay guys, I just put it on the bagel. We have yet to try it. Oh my God, girl, you were looking rough. Why is my hair like this? I don't okay, know, but I can mess fine. it up more for it's you. It's fine. Connor. All right, here we go. I'm not getting a good reaction here. I was ready for something like hype. No? What does it taste like? Ew. <laughs> what does it taste it like? Taste, it doesn't taste like cream cheese. Ew. That is so disappointing. This was like seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was expensive. Wow. That does okay, it does not taste like cream cheese. Like it's not cream cheese. It's right. definitely not cream cheese. Mm. Okay, well. That did not go as planned. <laughs> I need to find another snack to have. Ew, this is not good. All right guys, so this is my new snack now. Because I know that peanut butter and jam will never let me down. Because that cream cheese was so gross, like, no. Mm. Two hours later. Oh my God, it looks so freaking good. I'm so excited to eat this. It looks good, you did well. Can I test a little bite or is it really hot? It's really hot. No, it's not. Look at this. Little slices. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It was good. Mmm. This is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this is my dinner. A little pizza. A little sauce. A little sauce. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there you have it. That's my pizza. That's Connor's pizza. We're gonna watch some TV and eat this. Yum. Delish. Delish. Thank you, Bubba. You're welcome. Guys, I just realized that Mim has not been on the vlog all day, but I think that she's having a bit of a sick day. Hey, Mama. You're not feeling too well. But you haven't been on the vlog at all, baby. Are you okay? Hi, baby. Well, you not feel well today, baby. What happened? Hey? What happened with the baby? Mm -hmm. Maybe you need a little tweet. Would that make you happy? Mm. All right, now we are making, <gasps> look how good this look. Amazing. Like a pumpkin pie. Smell That's what it smells like. It smells like pumpkin pie. Hey? Yeah, they do. Mommy. Hi, <laughs> Hi baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. All right, guys, so the cookies turned out perfect. Um, we need to try one of these. Are they still hot? Oh no, I let them cool off enough. Just really hope that they taste like pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh. I'm not even like a huge pumpkin spice person, but oh my God, they're so good. They're so good. Tell me that they're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Please do not pump like that. It's so delicious. <laughs> it's good, eh? You say it all with your mouth open. <laughs> uh. <laughs> they're good though, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I don't even know if I can put this in here. <laughs> Okay guys, are you excited? Yeah, we're so cozy. And this is what we're watching. We're watching Moana. So we are gonna watch a movie and we'll see you guys when we're done. Oh my God, guys, that was so good. It was so cute. I need to start watching more Disney movies. But yeah, now we are waiting on our sushi to be delivered. We did order some sushi. We're just like laying in bed and we're like, 
I could go for a little snack right now. So our sushi just got here. This looks so freaking good. So I obviously got cucumber and avocado roll. And then I also like this one. This is shrimp tempura roll and then California roll. And then this one right here is a rainbow roll. So yeah, that's gonna be our snack right now. And it looks so good. It smells delicious. All right, guys. So I am now going to bed. I'm actually really tired right now. And I had a good end to uh, my night. Didn't really do too much. I know you guys are probably so sick and tired of me going on the same rant every single time I am closing out a video, but I just really appreciate you guys. And I know so many of you guys come back here every single time that I post a video, even if I suck at posting and I'm so sporadic. I always, I just, I see the same people in the comments and I'm always like, oh my God, you guys are literally so freaking amazing. And I just, I really appreciate it. And I'm not just saying that because I know everyone is like, I appreciate you guys so much but like I actually do. Yeah, just thank you. And I truly mean that. And I hope that you guys had a really good day or night or whenever you're watching this. And hopefully I will be back soon to vlog again. And I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>